to my channel um, leave any comments below and please thumbs up the video if you can and no I don't have a patreon I'm just doing this for fun um, okay here's uh, ESP easy these are the libraries that you require or all the files so you unpack download ESP easy look up ESP easy on on uh, Google when you download ESP easy you don't want the mega pack you want the master pack so you have to go up to the top of the page on the website or halfway down the page if I can find it ESP easy so there's in, a lot of instructions are from XBNC Nut who did a very good uh, write up on it and explanation of it and uh, done a fantastic uh, website if you need any information go and see his site and also check out his videos they're quite good uh, that's a big yell out to him um, okay so when you go to the ESP Easy site I know it's a bit slow so just ESP Easy and Google just go to the GitHub site. So when you go to the GitHub site, I actually got it up here, but I thought I'd better go that way. Actually, I'll go this way. Should be here anyway. No, it's not. And if we get rid of that, anyway, here's P easy. You really don't want there. You want the Google Google page or the actual GitHub page. So you come down to GitHub down the bottom there. It's the second item. Open that up. It's, and then so down here it says it says mega. You want to change that to master, which is here. So you got the master. So it changes it to master. Then you do a uh, unzip the clone. Download that. Once you've downloaded that, unzip the files into Docs, Android, or oh, correction, Anduino, I mean. Anduino, I'm thinking Android for some reason. Um, and then once it's unpacked and you've installed it into your Arduino software program, the Arduino 1.8.3, in my case, it might be later for you, once you've unpacked it, it'll ask you to put it into one file. Now, when, when it does tell you to put it into one file, if you don't put all the other files into that, that folder, like here, so if you don't put all these files into the original folder that they make, it won't compile properly. Okay, just a quick one. So then I've shown before that I've redone that for the Earth. And once I've done that, I've actually ticked that already and confirmed the compile. Then I'll just upload it. So we'll just watch. It's just compiling. I know it takes a bit of time. I'm sorry about this. Other things I'm doing at the moment, I've got to do a couple of Sonoffs, reprogram them. I did use my own software at one stage, and now I'm just using this software. I've got to t test it out. Um, you could use either this, or you could use Tasmata. Now, this will compile it. Sorry about the length, as I said before. Um, Anyway, that will compile. It does a does a good job of it. So now it's compiling it. Now, once you've done that, then you have to log into 192.168.1.1, and it'll come up as ESP0, and you need to give it your Wi-Fi credentials, and you'll also be required to give it if you've got a mosquito 
uh, Raspberry Pi running, like I have over here, you'll need to give it its location and if you've got a password and a login for it. And then in my case, I use Node Red. There is other software packages out there that you can use is uh, uh, Home Assistant, which is quite good. Uh, and Dom something or other, that's another good one. Um, but I've found that Node Red is pretty much the easiest thing for me to do. Anyway, that's it for me.